Hey guys, I hope you can hear me fine. Just get set up. Guys, I'll be with you in just a moment. Thanks for waiting. Sorry about the, the whole time we've taken. Because I needed to like uh, edit and stuff. And I had to like reinstall the game. Like literally. I didn't even remember. I uninstalled it. Hope you like this like, trailer. It's an amazing movie. This I know what happens, right? So I can tell you the story is bananas. It's amazing. Even the gameplay. Just over three streams? Okay, that's too much, man. I'm only but a man. Okay. Sorry about that. I did not know that just changing the time would do that. Anyway, I'm gonna start a new movie then. I'll start with the tutorial. It's a short one. Then I'll get to the gameplay. Hi, my name is David Page. I'm the writer and director of Fire and I. I just thought there's a few things you should know before you get started. I'd like you to meet my friend Bob. You'll be controlling him while you're learning. Let's begin with something simple. Move toward the mark on the floor. Right. 
Now what? Aren't I on the mark? Perfect. Now you know how to move about. You're also going to have to be able to observe your environment. To do so, you'll have direct control of the cameras. Come on, give it to... You can also look around you and see exactly what you want to see. Do I want to see? Can we be done? Middle pass or press space for first person view. I did it. This game want. Game is moody. I'm gonna punch him, can I? Nope. Okay, it is broken. So I'll go with a new movie then. Alright. An epic story ensues, so I'm gonna shut up for the cutscenes. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever... That was weird. Nothing's up. Nothing's gonna be the same again or something like that, maybe. But you be the judge of that. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York. Capital of, of the universe. All extraordinary the chess things. board destiny chose for the last big game. That's where it happens. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. By the way, it's a very dark game, so you have been warned. Starting out especially, after that it doesn't, it's not that dark, but right now it's gonna be super dark. creepy.
What? What, what have I done? I didn't want... It was like a dream. Quick. I, I, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Let's get started then. We gotta get rid of the other evidence. The crime scene. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get it in time before. Like they showed us, the cop was there, right? Okay, that was easy. Getting blood off the ground. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm covered sorry, in blood. I can't go anywhere looking like this. Hey, Magica, what's up? Problem, pal. You <laughs> want to take a picture? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. I just made us. Made us, um. Uh, like depression or whatever meter. State of health meter down. Okay. See if I can get some coffee. Um, no. Can I go back? Hey, sir, you're not supposed to be on that side of the bar. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry. Crap. Man, can I call someone? No change. Change. I'm depressed. Okay, fine. Thank God. <laughs> I don't think there's much left to do. Is he gonna be mean too? Can I do something for you, sir? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought that you were somebody else. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Okay, at least he wasn't too bad. The other one was like, what do you want? Sir. Get out of here. The waitress, she noticed something. I'm done for. Oh, God. Hey, sir, your bill. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. The cop didn't give a rat's ass, yo. It was like a. Um, I live too far away to walk. I have to find another way to get back home. There was a what do you say? A bonus point. And just collect that. Anywhere. The crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs.
find the bonus point this time. story ends. Some policemen on patrol happened to arrest me as I was wandering aimlessly around the neighborhood. It was Okay, they give us a huge checkpoint. All for the best. I mean, so many errors. Been a while since I played this game. Because we have to get this meter, the health meter, to be good, right? If he's too anxious, we just basically lose. Alright, where's the broom? Done. That's how you get blood out. Music, increase the health bar more. Sir. The waitress, she noticed something. I'm done for. Yes? I think that you might have forgotten to pay your bill. Oh yes, of course. I excuse me. The bill for the meal. How could I forget that? Quick, before somebody finds the body. that helped. <sighs> Gonna leave now. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. What my lucky day. Can't find the uh bonus point anywhere. So let's go. Okay, now I'm just tense. Uh, Nobody goes anywhere. Crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your ID. Now the cops come. And we get to play as cops too. Both of these. Tyler and Not Carl. Tyler. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start <laughs> killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. In 
five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. <laughs> so movie-esque. Can I maybe collect bonus points with them, or what? This is weird. Not much chance of finding anything this far from the restaurant. I'm gonna head back. There it is. 20 bonus points. Maybe look around more. Go to the crime scene. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Did anybody notice anything strange? No, nobody saw anything. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of... Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I wanna make sure she gets home okay. Press enter, the button. Okay, enter. Cool. So, he had a question mark. Where'd it go? That's Man, not it's freezing cool. out there. No point in me going out if I don't have any idea where the murderer went. Anyway. My partner's gonna take your statement soon, ma'am. It shouldn't take too long. Thanks. Steak and fries. Looks like he barely touched his food. Martin says this was the guy's table. Strange. Coffee's not on the bill. That's about it. fall back asleep? Tyler? What time is it? Oh, hell. When are you coming back? I won't be long, baby. Go back to sleep. I'll be there when you wake up. Catch you later. And come in together. Right. 
Let's check what we can check. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives in toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. Great. Tell Garrett, have him check for prints on the handle. Okay. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Just what exactly are you doing, Tyler? I'm checking for clues. What do you think? Yeah, duh. Gonna bust she. Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. I'll take you. <laughs> to inspect several wounds on the left side of the chest and the area of the heart they appear to be knife wounds no trace of a struggle looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise Blood on the mop. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Why would he risk getting caught to do that? It's about it, I suppose. Said coffee. Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's zombie city. Ah, uh, you should be out of here pretty soon now. <laughs> you don't know Carla. <laughs> She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. Man, she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. Hey, Garrett. Carla wants you to verify two or three things. Don't worry. I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. I had a feeling that Carla was going to keep us up a little longer. <laughs> okay then, time for Carla to inspect the table and then get the statement. A book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for prints? You got it, Carla. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. Gotta remember to check with the waitress on that. Traces of blood. The killer was at this table. He came back and sat down after the murder. Garrett, there are traces of blood in this booth. Okay, I'll go take a look. Yeah. 
Did you find anything, Tyler? <laughs> well, that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Let's get some coffee for her, too. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? was just a normal guy. I didn't really pay any attention to him. Could anyone else have come in? No, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. That book under the table it must have been his. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. There was a cup of coffee on his table. Do you remember whether he was the one who ordered it? A cup of coffee? No, I'm certain he, he didn't order any coffee. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my God. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bill. What happened next? The man came back, he paid his bill and left. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You, wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. If I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. <coughs> try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Alright. That was interesting, yo. Good night. I love the fact that it's such an interactive game. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So? You guys find anything? I took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. 
We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Oh, hi, Mark. Where's... Okay. Wait, actually, no. I have to get outside and talk to the homeless guy. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Uh, I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. My name is Carla Valenti. And you? What's your name? My name? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is my name? <laughs> Nobody uses it anymore. Guess I just forgot it. <laughs> yeah, oh, Bogart, yes. Uh, my friends call me Bogart. <laughs> Must be because I look so much like that act. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go try to get some place warm. Take care of yourself. Didn't need to do that. I saw someone! Oh. Yeah. Or rather, something. Nobody remembers him, but I saw him. I saw him. Come out the back door. <coughs> oh, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Uh, who? Uh, who? You drink too much, baby. You, you, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> okay. Crazy homeless guy, huh? That's about it. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, nope, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired.
kill anyone. I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. I, I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Started to come, but I had to, I had to like fix the stream and whatnot. It would have been cool to have people here. Anyway, hope to catch people next time. I'll be continuing on with this gameplay. And yeah, for now I'm gonna be signing off. Then, Sir Crescendo. Hope you had a good time. Hope to catch you next time. Peace.